Hello, all my YouTube friends. Um, I'm going to be doing a quick video on my binder. And this is my binder for the school year. And I have spiced it up a little bit this year. You know, real creatively. But this is my binder. This is my pencil pouch. And, um, I got, you know, my Crayola colored pencils, my mechanical pencils, highlighters, uh, pens, you know, just all that goody stuff, you know, like, belongs in there. I want to get another one, this is, because this right here is my binder for half the day. This coming here, I start August 19th, so yeah, that'll get Alright, so right here is my, my, uh, notebook or my, my notebook for for the half a day so I don't have so much so many I have two two for for each half day you know one for the first semester one other one for the second semester and then that's how it is about four of them is for that for specific reason but One second, a little compilation there. Alright, so I'm not sure if you can see this or not. But right here it says, it, I'm not, I really don't think that we're going to be doing any specific thing on the first day of school, really. You know, just talking like blah 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 blah. This is what we're doing. This is your siblings. Syllabus and blah 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 just stuff like that, you know. About me, I was born here, I teach here, I love this, I love that, and this is what you're gonna be doing and ha la la eight hours. Ex including excluding lunch. Lunch is the best time of day on the first day of school. Just get that. But this is what I got this for. Hold one second. Oh, that's better. Alright. August 20th, 2013. So, on this first line right here, I skip the line, and then right on the stint, starting over here, on this, on this line, after I skip the line, I write number one for class period one, which this instance. For this year, I have choir first hour, so I won't be using this for first hour choir at all. So, but I'm gonna use second hour choir, second hour, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is my English class. So I'm just gonna write like a notebook, not like take notes, like take notes on everything that happens, you know. Because I've had this teacher before last year for my English teacher, and that's who I have ever. And then you take notes, go all the way down your binder until you reach the until you reach the end, and then you just, and then you just skip another line, write two for or three actually for class period three and so on and so forth. Take notes, you know. You probably end up using probably get down, hey. All right, and you you know you just use your other piece. I, I I'm thinking probably for, for the whole entire class thing, you're probably going to use about maybe two whole sheets of paper, maybe two, maybe two or two and a half sheets of paper for your, for your, for a half day, maybe. I don't think you'd be using three or four. It just depends on how your teachers teach. My teachers you really just teach, you know, teach, give a little bit of notes, give a worksheet, worksheet, turn it in, they grade you, you get a test, and all that goody stuff, so. I'm gonna get some folders to put in here too, but but that's the notebook. That good old notebook of lore. Alright, this right here is just a regular divider. It's a little tab. I always put that right after the notebook. And then right here is just you know just regular sheets of paper. And that's how I do for each of them. I have three in here, I think. Yeah, I have three in here. It just depends on what lunch I get. If I get first lunch, then this will be it. Then this third green tab right 
Snoop Horizon. But there will be in my second, second half of day binder for that one. So, that's how it will be. That's how my binders are set up, you know. And after that, after the, the, the sheet of paper, there's another divider that has paper in it. And then, then the green one, whatever. If, just depends on what, on what lunch hour I have. So, I am for sure I'm going to have first lunch this year because my I'm for sure if I say it getting around on my schedule because I have not got my schedule yet but I want to change my schedule to get out of band this past like a few weeks ago and okay that was my cat sorry Mr. Speedy hush anyway um yeah, but the first hour class, or not first hour, sorry. My third hour class, if I'm reading correctly, I think that's who my Algebra 2 teacher is. It's third, I have my Algebra 2 third hour. And if I'm not mistaking, not third hour, fourth hour, I think. If I have her fourth hour, then that means that. I'm really not sure. Actually, I think I do have her fourth hour. Um, if, I'm, if I read it correctly, because you know you have it, just just depending on your first hour class, really, on who you will have. So if you have, um, if you're just depending on your teacher, what hour they're, they're set to have lunch, you know. So because we have two lunches a day, in our, in our, we have a lunch and B lunch, or first and second lunch, you know. So, I really won't know until after I get my schedule and schedule after, but when I see, if I've seen it correctly, because they could change my schedule at any time, you know, but as far as I've seen on my, on my third schedule, you know, we are, um, I should have a um, fourth hour in the, or algebra two, and if I do, then that would mean I'm not I'm not for sure, but last year the teacher that I had for geometry I had her for algebra two this year again and my same English teacher that I had last year again this year too. But the al but the algebra two I had this year, she was always going to lunch as soon as I was coming out of third hour. So that means that as soon as a third hour is over she goes to lunch and all all the students that had her for fourth hour went to first lunch and then came back to her class after she ate lunch. So that means that they had first lunch and they came back to hers for fourth hour and did her class and went on to their fifth hour class. But I'm not sure if that's how it's going. I'm for sure I'm going to have first lunch this year. Maybe. I'm not sure. But I'm for sure. Maybe. Just all depends on my on who my teachers are, and I already know the majority of who my teachers are already because I seen all my schedule when I I was changing it. I only got a brief look at it, you know, to determine. I don't know who my American history teacher is, but I know for my chemistry, algebra two, and English teacher, I know all three of them already. My chemistry teacher, I met her when she was in junior high, my junior high school. Um, she she was a science teacher, but she wasn't mine. I never had her, but I knew her. She was right across the across the street from my street. Street? Yeah, she was right across the street from me. No, she was in across the hall from me during my fifth hour class um, for math. But she was a science teacher right across the hall, and so she knew me pretty well, you know. So, and then my geometry teacher and my and my I have her this year for algebra two. My English tenth tenth grade. I had her for. Last year, so I'm getting her for English 11. Go junior, go class 2015. Whoop! Wow. But anyway, that's how it's kind of confusing. It was really confusing when I had it during seventh hour or seventh grade, um, junior high. Like here, they've changed everything since I've been in. Since I've been, I'm not gonna tell you what school district I'm in, but since I've been in my school district. My school district for elementary was kindergarten through fourth. And then middle school was fifth and sixth. Junior high was seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. And uh, high school was tenth, eleventh, and twelfth grade. 
which high school now is still 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. But what they had done is they had moved uh, elementary school, kindergarten through fifth, and then they moved junior uh, middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And now they have a freshman academy for all the ninth graders. So this coming year, we're getting like 600 new freshmen or 600 new sophomores this coming year. So yeah, this will be like kid galore, little kid sophomores. You know, good luck to all you sophomores out there who are watching this video and want to know, you know, how I do all my stuff. You know, good luck to. I hope your uh, sophomore year goes by really fast. And really good. If you're wondering when I'm drinking, it looks this dark. It, um, I forgot the color. Oh, crystal light. Crystal light lemon tea. Yup. But, that's, that's the whole entire school. So we're getting like 600 new sophomores this coming year, or six or 700. So that means that there's at least what are you doing, sister? There's at least 600 in my in my in my uh, junior and senior class. Not 600, 400 in each class. So that means 800 plus 700. How much does that equal? 800 plus 700. What does that equal? Let's do my my little handy dandy calculator here and see. I'm gonna do eight hundred plus seven hundred. No, eight hundred plus six hundred. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Fourteen hundred students gonna be in my school this coming year. 200 more than last year. I think that's lovely. Okay. Well, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck to all you sophomore students. Um, I'll be doing a little thing of what to expect for sophomore year and another one, you know, because I didn't have a really good camera when I did the last one. But I'll do that next week once I get every, all my stuff together and situated. Because right now, this is what I have. Laying right here on my bed is my walker stacking, Dilly. And I cannot do anything with them until I find out what my walker number is, combination, and anything else. But I need to find out. If I get my, I get my uh, schedule in a week, I'm so excited because I finally set my whole stuff up. So, if you guys have any other requests for any kind of video, let me know because I'll be glad to do them. And they won't take me a, a bit of time at all. All you gotta do, all I gotta do, all you gotta do is message or comment below on a request for video, and I will do them. I promise you. And when I start school, I might go a little short on videos because I make sure I'm getting all my stuff done and doing really good. My cat's on my leg, but anyway, tail off of me. Anyway, so I just hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope y'all have a great day and bye.